Hello and welcome to another uh, gameplay tutorial by Sparky Hobbies. My name is Ben and uh, we're going to go ahead and use the last deck that we uh, used in the last gameplay tutorial um, which is a, a green-white uh, deck that we saw that used the uh, Miraganda Petroglyphs enchantment to give all creatures that abilities uh, bonus and we're going to be playing against an actual not imaginary opponent but it's still a solo game uh, my uh, my opponent this this deck is going to be a samurai deck and uh, so what you need to play is you need two decks uh, if you're new to the game you probably have not built a deck yet so you just need to borrow one from your friend you need some way to represent 20 life uh, I'm going to just use some loose change that I have in my pocket and my uh, my opponent's all fancy here. He has a dice. So uh, what we need to do is determine who needs to go, go first. My opponent's going to roll a three, and I am going to roll a five. And I would like to go first. So that's what's going to happen. Uh, before we can start the game, uh, I need to look at my opening hand and determine whether I'm going to keep it. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards here. Let's keep it together. And am I going to keep this hand? Uh, I only have two land. We talked about it that last time. That's how uh, you're going to play your spells. And uh, But I do have a couple cards I can play it, so it's iffy. It's iffy, but I'll be a lot worse off if I start taking a mulligan and uh, taking less cards and my opponent is going to look at his hand, his evil hand and uh, let's see here, five, six, seven and he is going to smirk at me and decide that he too is going to keep his hand. Where are we going to put this hand? I'll put it right there. Okay. So we're all ready to play. Um, both kept our hands, both have decks, both have life. We're good. Okay, here we go. First step that we had in our last game tutorial was restoring board. Don't have board, untap. Upkeep, no cards with upkeep. Good. Were we drawing? I went first, so that's a big advantage. I don't get to draw this turn, but I do get a main phase, so I will play one planes. I will tap that one planes to gain one white manta, mana, apologize, apologize, one white mana, and I will play a creature with no abilities called Volunteer Militia. Let's see if we can get this going on here. Okay. Oh, okay. Pointer, Volunteer Militia, he costs one white. He is a soldier. He has no rules text, just the italicized flavor text. His attack is one, and his uh, toughness, the amount of damage that he can take before he dies, uh, is two. So if he takes two or more damage, he will die. All right. Talked about summoning sickness last game. Uh, he's getting his bearings. He can't quite uh, attack this turn, and. So we're good. That's all I can do. My resources are tapped out. Okay, here we go. My opponent, he gets an upkeep. He gets to have an untap. He gets to draw. Untap, upkeep, draw. Uh, he will play. This is what we're going to use for his game board. Let's see if we can get this going on. I need some way to move him in and out of play so we can use my desk here. Okay, so he will play a planes. He will tap into that land and gain one white mana. Never mind the solar system. It's all right. It's a play mat. Players do use play mats. And he will play a creature. Now this creature, unlike all of the other cards that we have seen, we did imagine that my opponent had cards with abilities last time, and this card has an ability. It has the main ability that Samurais have. His name is Devoted Retrainer. He costs one white. He has an ability that says when he blocks or becomes blocked, he gets bigger. He gets one plus one. So he will be a 2-2 two, two instead of a 1-1. One, one. This is a Talitized deck. It's not going to affect gameplay. 
He is a human. He is a samurai. If I get any cards that are important to samurai, he will get the bonus or he will get the penalty, depending on what the what it involves a samurai. So I played a one one. My opponent played a two uh, uh, one one that could become a two two if he becomes blocked or gets uh, or does block. And uh, he tapped into all of his resources, so he's going to go ahead and end turn. What's the first thing I need to do? I need to restore my board. I get to untap. I have no cards with upkeep. I get to draw. Alright, I will play a forest. And my guy, my opponent has a, a creature that could potentially become a 2-2, two -two, which I'd still like to block against that. So I'm going to go ahead and play this guy for one white mana. I tap one white mana and I play a creature soldier by the name of Valiant Guard. All right, let's check him out. His name, pointer. Where's my pointer? Oh, frickin' A. Valiant Guard. He costs one white mana, I tap one white mana. Nice picture, creature, soldier. Italian size text, he has no abilities. He has no power, he can't attack worth, worth nothing. But he does have three toughness, so he can take it. And he comes into play, he cannot attack. I have the choice now, during my main phase, to interrupt it and decide if I want to attack with my, my non-summoning sick guy, my uh, volunteer militia. If I were to attack and he were to block, um, he'd have a 2-2, and I'd only do one, dam one damage to his samurai, and my guy would die, and his guy would live. My opponent would get the better deal on that, so I'm not going to attack second main phase, no decisions. Moving on my end step and we're good. Okay, so my opponent's turn. He will get to restore. This is his hand. He will get to upkeep, draw. He will play a mountain for land on his main phase. He will look at looking at combat. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and decide to attack with this with this 1-1 one, one Bushido guy. What the hey. He's attacking. I now get to decide whether I'm going to block him. Uh, he has mana open if we saw. He has the one white uh, plains and the one red mountains so he could do a combat trick but otherwise this guy's gonna be a 2-2 and I can't do any damage to him with my 0-3 but I can take the full 2 damage so I have to like weigh and not whether he has a spell in hand that's gonna end up like playing during combat that's gonna change this outcome because right now it looks like I can block his 2-2 two -two with my 0-3 it's a one run right now. If I didn't take it, I'd just take one. But I, I'm going to go ahead and block it. He becomes a 2-2 two because -two, he got blocked. And he does two damage to him. And he doesn't do anything back, but nothing else happens. And, okay, my opponent was just sort of testing my resolve. All right, so it's my turn again. First thing we do is untap. Upkeep. No cards with upkeep. We will draw. I uh, play a land during my main phase. Um, do I want to go to inner combat phase right now? I will decide not to attack. Oh well, he he is tapped down. Why not? He's let's look let's look at the creature situation. He's tapped down because he attacked last time. I can attack with my volunteer militia, and I should get through, bearing his a uh, spell that my opponent would play. Does my opponent play a spell? No, he doesn't. He's going to take one damage. Okay, second main. Combat is over. I will tap one white and one of any other color 
to play a knight errant. Pointer, here we go. Knight errant, that's his name. One white, one of anything else. He is a creature. His italicized text means that he has no abilities. This is just for um, flavor, just to tell a story. And he has two attack, two toughness. All right, one more creature to add. That's a good. Okay. Let's give my opponent back his creature. And that's my opponent's hand. He has cards in hand right now. Okay, so... I played a creature my second main phase. I will be done. It will be my opponent's turn. He will untap. He will upkeep. He will draw. In his main phase... his main phase, he's going to play another planes. He didn't like how it went last time. He decided to test his opponent's resolve, me. He decided to test me last time by attacking. Nothing really happened. And now he has the option to attack again. But he's not going to. So it's going to be my turn. Alright, got my hand. I untap. This guy is no longer summoning sick. Upkeep. Nothing. Draw. Okay. Yay. Excellent. Didn't think I... I only started this hand with two land, but I managed to draw two more land, which basically means I get up to my magical number where I can play the main card, the theme of the deck. Because none of my creatures... Let's put my hand right there. Um, none of my creatures have abilities. So that means when I play this enchantment, it doesn't get to attack or block... Muraganda Petroglyphs, creatures with no abilities. He has his creature has Bushido, if you remember. Creatures with no abilities get plus two plus two. So, and it comes it comes into effect immediately. It doesn't have a conscious, so it comes into play immediately. And now my volunteer's militia is a 3-4, this guy is a 2-5, and this guy is a 4-4. Four, four. And all my opponent has, if he's going to block, he is an untapped and ready to block 2-2. Two, two. It totally looks worthwhile to swing. Because my lowest toughness creature is a 4. And if he does 2 to 4, I will be perfectly fine. He does have some untapped mana. He could play a spell and disrupt my day. But it looks like a great time to attack. I will attack with a 4-4, uh, a 2-3, and a 3-4. My opponent's going to review his hand, because that's going to hurt. Ouch. Okay. Do you see block? No, he's not going to block. He's going to go ahead and take it. So, um, 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 4 is 9. He's going to go from 19 to 10. Ouch. That hurts. Okay, but now I am all tapped out. I did my magic thing, so uh, give my opponent back his creature. If he decides to do something really nasty, I could be in trouble right now, but we're going to go ahead and see what he does. We go to second main, and then end of turn phase, and then it becomes my opponent's turn. 